Nearly one million food insecure New Jerseyans. Almost 300,000 of them are kids. That's one in seven children. Come on. It is. It's really startling. And 50% of the people that are seeing us in food pantries and soup kitchens around the state have a working member in their family. So the needle has really shifted for us. Essex still has the highest food insecurity in the state of New Jersey, with Cape May following with the highest food insecurity for children. Why? Probably seasonal work. Also, they were very severely hit by Sandy. L slow All recovery. All these years later? Yeah. Um, also, the casinos and the shift in the employment scene there is really changing access to food for kids big time. And then, of course, just having, you know, Atlantic County be sort of the hub, but Cape mm. May and um, Cumberland County really struggling. My name is Dr. John Brundbeck. I'm actually the medical director of the Interventional Institute here at Holy Name Medical Center. The peripheral arterial disease actually is extremely common. It's one of the forms of hardening of the artery. As interventional radiologists, we perform minimally invasive image guided procedures. Generally, the procedures we do are alternatives to what would otherwise be major surgery. Almost 80% of those patients can avoid amputation if they're referred for us for these sort of procedures. Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey. 1877 Holy Name. Healing begins here. Also brought to you by the New Jersey Education Association and by Choose New Jersey. Our mission is attracting companies to the Garden State.